In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mantle for a fireplace with a secret. It has a hidden compartment underneath it. Let's have fun with this one. So I'm really excited to work on this project. It's unique. You don't see them very often. I've actually never seen one before. So I thought, you know, let's just give it a shot and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll just make it into a regular box mantle, but I guarantee it's going to work. So the first thing you see is the box is already done for my compartment. I already have it stained. I made it out of three quarter inch pine plywood. Super expensive right now, but you have no other options, right? So what dictates the size of your mantle compartment is how big you want your mantle. My mantle is 69 inches long. So I made this at 60 inches. I wanted to give myself four inches plus on each side for my slide rollers. So once you determine that, you can then determine the height at what you want. So I'm going with a five and a half inch box. The reason why I did that is because I want a seven inch wide mantle. And this is the mantle back here. It's halfway done. I'll show you how to complete the rest of the project. But this is three quarter inch poplar. You could also use hardwoods like oak and whatever else. But since wood's super expensive, I chose the poplar. It's about, it's about half price um, difference. So anyway, this is three quarter inch, so that's going to be on top of this, and it's going to wrap around underneath. So I need to add three quarters times two, so inch and a half, plus my five and a half inches gives me seven inches. So seven inches is my mantle complete height. And then you have to determine the width too. I'm dealing with a nine and a quarter inch wide mantle shelf, and this is about 12 inches wide. So my whole mantle is gonna be about 12 inches wide. So I just wanna have it two to three inches um, shorter than my mantle, okay? So I'm gonna let this stain dry, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our slide rollers on, and then we'll get the mantle uh, installed and see how she looks. Okay, so the sliders that I got are from Amazon, and the company's called Toby Nice. I believe it's from China, and but they're a really good deal, I think, for a two-pack, so I could do two drawers. It was uh, 16 bucks. I'll put the name of it on the bottom of the video right now, just to show you, so if you want to find yours, but they have eight inch, 10 inch, 12, 14, 16, etc. I chose eight inch because I have pretty much an eight inch compartment that I'm gonna deal with. So I'm following the directions a little bit, but I'm gonna do something different. Um, but the first thing it wanted me to do was it wanted me to find center on my sides, which I did, so it's five and a half, so center is two and three quarter, so I drew a line. And then if you open this up, there's holes that are inside there that you line up and you throw in a, a screw. So I wanna show you real quick, um, these type of sliders, have this little lever right here, okay? So it slides out really nice, heavy duty, ball bearing. I guess it does like 100 pounds. But you can lift this up and then the whole thing comes apart. So this is gonna go on my mantle. This is gonna go on my box right here. So I'm gonna line up these holes and then I'm going to uh, drive my screws in on both sides. And what I wanna do, my wall's gonna be right back on this back surface right here, okay? I'm gonna line this bracket up to the very back. So that's gonna be my square uh, on the back side. So I'll line this up, screw it in, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so we just put the slide rollers on the box compartment. Now we're gonna put the other part of the slide roller on the bottom of the mantle. So we have to have some type of support for those slide rollers to attach to. So I made these. These will fit on the inside of my mantle. And I made them at five inches. So they're just a little bit shorter than my mantle box themselves. That's uh, because I don't want this mantle to be sliding on the support that I have this box attached to on top of the fireplace surround. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go in depth on a cool pocket jig system where you can make pocket holes so we hide all of our screws 
so they're not visible on the mantle. Um, so I'll get a close-up view and we'll go through the system. Okay, so this is the kit that I got. It's by Craig. It's a pocket hole jig 310 and it comes with the guide. It comes with a measuring stick and then I bought um, some three-quarter and one-inch screws and then it also comes with a drill bit with a stopper and then it comes with a square head drill bit um, for the screws. So it also comes with really good instructions. It's super easy. But the big thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have it set to the depth of your wood. So this is three quarter inch pine plywood. And there's a collar that you can, there's a little Allen key on the bottom of it here. There's a circle with an inch and a half, three quarter and a half inch. You just slide this collar on here, tighten it down on that Allen key so you have the three quarters visible. All right. And then on this guy here, this is where the drill bit will go through and give us our pocket holes. And as you see here, this gray is saying that I'm on the three quarter mark and it's just a little tab right here where you lift up and you can move it to half inch, three quarter, and then inch and a half. So let's put it back to three quarter. Okay, so the whole idea of this is to hide our screws. So it wants us to have it at least five eighths of an inch from the edge. So I'm gonna do one, two, three for just added strength. And then make sure you have a clamp with you. So let's just do this real quick. So the stopper is right there. And that's gonna go on like that, all right? And then we'll just take our clamp. We'll clamp it down nice and tight. And then we'll take our drill, and it's so easy, guys. Just take your drill, keep firm pressure on it, and just drill down. That's it. Then we'll do the next one. So again, I'll go to the edge here, about five eighths of an inch. I'll clamp it down. I'll take my drill bit. Fire it in there. Okay. And then we'll do one more just in the center here. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this next one right here and then we'll get on to attaching it. All right, so I wanted to show you guys real quick. I put the mantle on its top side down here and I took my box and I centered it on my mantle. Um, so there's like four and three eighths here and four and three eighths on the other side. So, and this is backed up to the back because my wall's gonna be right here. So this is the bracket that's gonna slide forward, right? So I need to take what I did my pocket holes in and I'm gonna attach it down like this. Now the instructions, they want a 0.53 inch gap between here your box and then here the bracket for the mantle. So I went just a 30 second over a half inch. That's my 0.53. I guess if you go just half inch, it's too tight on the roller bearings and it'd be kind of tight when you go to slide this thing in and out. So I already marked 0.53 here and here. So when I put my bracket in there, I'll just line it up and then I'll just cinch it down on those lines. But before I do that, I want to put my roller slide on this side of my support. So I'm gonna measure two and three quarter inches down again, the same as I did here, and then I'll have it um, almost backed up. I kind of traced out the line right here of where this bracket sits in the back. It's not flush with the back. So I held it up here where it was flush right here and just kind of traced that mark. So I'll make my two and three quarter inch line down Put this on and then I'll move this out of the way 
and then I'll put my pocket screws in uh, to attach to the mantle. All right, so I have my bracket attached to the inside of my support, bottom of the mantle again, and I have my line here that I scored, and that's the edge of my box, and then I went 0.53 again from there. So I have those two marks laid out right here. I'm gonna line this up, make sure it sits level. Then you can take your square if you want, just make sure you're level, which I am, I'm squared up. Okay, and then if you have some clamps, now would be a good time to clamp it. I do, but they're not big enough for this instance, so I can't use it, so I'm just gonna use the force of my body weight to hold this down. But then just take your screw with your attachment square head, and then just drive it down. I mean, it's, it's that simple. So I'm gonna do these last two here. Just verify them on my mark. And I'm using one inch screws on three quarter inch plywood and it's not going through the other side. I'm sure if you kept, you know, ratcheting this down, it would but it's not going to. So there we go. So I'm gonna do the other side real quick. And then once this is done, all we gotta do is stain it pretty much. And then we're gonna install it. And then the last little part that goes from here to the wall of the fireplace, which I'll show you inside of there. I just wanna make sure this is all installed before I take that last cut. Might be like two or three inches. And I have a piece of wood down there that I'll rip. And then I'll do pockets again all the way down so that the mantle has a complete look. So it's gonna look like this. And then that's gonna sit against the fireplace wall. All right, so last night ran a bit late. I couldn't get the project done, but I did go inside and I wanted just to do a quick dry fit on top of the box. So the box I put inside the house earlier, it's centered and leveled on top of the fireplace. We don't need to go over that, that's pretty basic. Now, when I went to go put the fireplace mantle on top of the box and then slide it in, I was running into an issue. So I'm here to make mistakes so you don't have to. Now in my case, I'm installing this mantle between two cabinets, all right? So if you don't have cabinets on the side of your mantle, we're not gonna worry about this issue. But if you do, you're gonna need to put some type of guide in the middle of your mantle. Because what was happening is as I was pushing it in, it was walking to the left and to the right and it was rubbing on the side of the cabinet. Same effect when I was pulling it out. There was just no structure because of how far these rollers are apart. So I remember growing up, we had old kitchen cabinets with a wooden guide in the middle, and I did the same thing. I attached a three quarter by inch and a half uh, piece of wood on the top side of my mantle, and then I cut a hole in the middle of my box on the top where this can slide through, and I put two pieces of the same wood on the outside of that hole. So when I slide this mantle in there, it will rub nice and firm on this centered guide here and it prevents it from walking back and forth. I just went back inside and I tested it and my walking issue went away. So if you're gonna put between two cabinets, do what I'm doing right now and give yourself some sort of a guide. Uh, it doesn't take away the looks of it because you can't see it, but it does work and now the problem is solved. Now the last thing we got to do to complete the project is I took the measurement from the face of the inside of the mantle here to the face of the fireplace and it's three and an eighth inch. So I already cut my piece of wood right here and I'm gonna take my pocket hole from Craig again and I'm gonna put uh, about eight holes on this board all the way down and I'll flip it over and then I'll attach it with clamps and then I'll drive those screws in there, and then that will complete the mantle besides just putting a coat of stain, and then if you wanna put poly on top of it, uh, go for it. So once I get that done, uh, we'll go inside, and we'll put this into the um, box, and then the project's completed, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so I wanna just quickly go over 
those guides I had to install on the top of my box compartment. As you can see, there's two pieces of wood with a three quarter inch gap in the center. And that is where the wood from the mantle will slide back nice and firm. And this will again help prevent a severe walking issue if you have cabinets between your mantle. All right, so now the mantle's inside of the house. I had someone help me bring the mantle in. It's easier with two people. One person can support the mantle while the other person ensures that the rollers are engaged and that the middle guide lines up correctly. But once you get to this point, all you have to do is simply push on the mantle and now it's in place. Now you have a mantle that has a secret compartment underneath it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like, but please leave a like at the bottom of the video. Next video is gonna be installing a bioethanol burning fireplace. That should be a fairly quick video. That one's super easy. Just a lot of prep work to it. So if you wanna watch that one, stay tuned. But thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy building your mantle with a hidden compartment.